Where the hell is this? Feels like the backyard. Hmm, you're as knowledgeable as your reputation suggests. Who are you? Hello, please call me Bedman or something similar. That's a joke, right? I'm guessing this is your weird dream world? You mentioned my reputation. That suggests you're not working alone. The Conclave? <laughs> you're awfully funny. No wonder my client is so interested in you. No matter. Unfortunately, I'm afraid you're wrong. You couldn't possibly guess. I'm feeling generous, so it's not Ramlethal. In fact, I'm feeling very generous. It's not Batman, either. <laughs> Did I just raise some more questions? Two, four, more, exponentially more? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. To be frank, I'm a bit nervous. After all, even if I go all out, I may not be able to break you. That word, break, being unable to break you, you being unbreakable, that strikes me as arrogant. All things have a beginning and an end, but unbreakable suggests that an object has flouted those laws, discarded its natural limitations. Culture, civilization, everything humankind has created, even the idea of God, to destroy the laws, destroy the things the laws allow. Doesn't that seem unfair, like how thinking too hard about something makes it more difficult? Instead of giving hope, you take it away. We might as well discard morals entirely. Anyway, I detest long conversations. At least we agree on that.